Good afternoon and welcome to Training Tuesday. Um, apologies, uh, well maybe not an apology, you can't see my face for today. We're uh, on the go with Training Tuesday today, so I'm on the mobile um, and we're doing doing this remotely from the studio. So you haven't got a camera, but you have got us live as always. Um, it's a, it's release day. We've just kicked out Magic Q uh, 1980 Beta that literally went out uh, in the last uh half an hour so hot off the press 1980 is ready for download now you can go and get that from the uh Kamsis website that includes things like uh ndi now released in there and many many other new features uh in th including things like bounce effect as well which let's come to uh, a bit later on so lots of new features in 1980 available now if you head over to the Kamsis users pro uh, and programmers facebook page you'll see a release video there and on our youtube channel as well shortly will be a release video uh, showing all about the 8.0 release. So do go ahead and download that now uh, from the Campus's website. Uh, today's Training Tuesday, uh, we're looking at something called the Programmer Store. Uh, you can see I've got an execute window open up here. So um, if I was just in my normal layout one view, if I go to my execute window here, we've covered the execute window many, many, many times in Training Tuesdays. If you've never used it before, uh, please do uh, take a look at our YouTube channel and some of the playlists there or head out of the campus website where we've actually reorganized the video tutorials page now so you can just search by uh, topics so things like execute window and quickly get to those um, as always it is a live session so if you are watching on YouTube or Facebook please do feel like you can comment along ask us questions etc so um, we've got something called the programmer store uh, which actually came about um, first on the stadium consoles uh, if you've used a 500m you've got this 4x3 keys on there which you can shortcut as a mode for the programmer store. Um, you can, of course, get to it on the execute window, so on PCs and consoles as well. So I'm in an execute window here. Uh, I just created a 10 by three grid. You don't have to use all the programmer stores. So Magic U actually supports up to 10 different programmer stores. Um, I've got nine set up here. How do you set them up? Well, in an execute window, I would obviously uh, go to a, a page that I'd like over here. I'd set a grid size. Um, which uh, to any size I like. So I made a 10 by three grid. You can see I've populated nine stores already. Um, I've left the last one to populate in the session here. So I'm gonna to go to assign special. So I click on an empty square, go to assign special. I'm gonna select prog store, select record store 10. Um, oh, you can see I made an error actually, didn't I? I've got activate prog store nine there. So let's remove that and let's fix that uh, while I'm here as well. So we're gonna go assign special prog store uh, record nine and then I need an include 10 here so assign special prog store uh, include uh, 10 and then I'm going to go assign special uh, prog store and activate 10 so okay I've got 30 buttons here what on earth do these all do you can see two of them are red well they're showing me that there's something in my programmer store essentially what a programmer store is is it gives magic Q, uh, now uh, up to 10 different programmers that you can chop and change and jump between so if I was to go back to my layout one view here, my group position, uh, color and beam window, um, you can see uh, that if I go and select, say, something like my spots uh, and let's go for add effect. And because we've obviously just launched 8.0 today, I'm going to go for an intensity effect. I'm going to go for uh, a dimmer chase, which I'm going to take my uh, width right down on like so. And uh, let's speed it up slightly. There we go. That'll do. And just because we can now in new software, uh, we're going to go uh, to our direction here and look at that we've got bounces so i'm going to do a forward bounce here and there you go you should see that it will now start bouncing hooray look at that um so uh, first off then um prog store then so i'm in the middle of programming this i'm still tweaking the effect okay maybe i'm going to say some color or something here uh, and i'm in the middle of my programming uh, whatever i might be doing and someone says to you okay well uh, can you just you know can you just show me this look here can you just bring this on or whatever here but i don't want to lose what i'm doing i don't want to lose my effect or something so what i can do is i can go and i can hit record prog store one and it essentially dumps a copy of my program i can now clear the programmer uh, and i can go and do the thing they asked me to do okay could you just show me whatever could you just show me what you know it looks like when you put the the front light on the uh, vocalist on the front of the stage like i've uh, done here so again i'm in the middle of that you know they've wandered away so i'm just going to record that as prog store uh, for that I can clear the programmer and I can go and include prog store one again and get me back the thing that I was in the middle of programming my bounce effect there uh, they come back over and again I'm in the middle of tweaking the programming here okay maybe I'm in the programmer and I've you know, whatever I might be doing I've uh, taken the crossfade down or something to make it much more snap but I'm still haven't quite finished I'm not ready to go and uh, record that 
onto a queue yet. So again, they've come back over and they said, could you just show me now via the center vocal again? Okay, okay, let me just record that in Prog Store here. Uh, and now let me just jump over to that programmer store. So you know, it's a little bit like activating sort of temporary queues, I guess, in that you can now just jump between these 10 different programmers. So okay, I'm putting things and you'll see, if I actually open up my programmer window, you can see it is actually loading things uh, into the programmer window. So it will only record whatever's the active program at that time. And essentially, you've got 10 different programmers to choose from. Whichever one is the active one is the thing that you're going to uh, be recording. But you can always see what's in the active programmer by checking the programmer window here. So 10 different programmers you can use, but you can use it to mix and match, should you wish to as well. So, you know, it's useful for the can you just, when I'm in the middle of programming, can you just, yeah, let me just dump the programmer there um, and then do something else. So useful for that. But the other use is, okay, well, I can use it actually for building things up and adding to dynamically. So um, let me make another look here. So, okay, if I take uh, my keyboard person there uh, and I can record that to a prog store, uh, and I could take, say, um, what else have we got? Um, we only have the keys and lead only highlighted here. Uh, that'll do. And uh, let's take something else. So let's take the wash lights. Uh, let's not take all of those wash lights. It seems to have uh, in all the Nexus panels there as well. We don't want those. Uh, let's take my eight profiles there and let's locate them. Uh, let's put them in a position. Let's put them in a color there. And I can store that into a frog store here what it allows me to actually do is you can mix and match a programmer so you can say activate and that's jumping between my programmers now you can see uh, here i've actually uh, got uh, i've messed up haven't i i've included and activate i've messed up my uh, programmers here you can see i've done include activate include include uh, that's not what i want to do so uh, i've messed up this execute window so i need to change that button instead of activate it should be an include well spotted for the eagle eye viewers there just to keep you on on your toes there so if i go to prog store uh, that should be an include programmer too so what i've got is i've got bump buttons which allow me to say jump into a programmer so include that programmer is a physical change change to that programmer change to that programmer change back to this one again in any order you like by activating allows me to mix programmers so i can say okay i'm going to start with this one here now i'm going to activate that program and you can see it's mixed the two together and now i'm going to add the center vocal and now I'm going to add this one here. So I can chop and change between and keep adding things into my various different programmers, as you can see there. So you can actually use that as a mixing way uh, of mixing things in a programmer. And of course, you can see I've got two things active right now, uh, the spots and my profiles. If I go into the programmer window here, it has got both of those in here. So if I was to go on and record a queue, like so here, uh, and then if I do a shift release, just to switch everything off, you can see, there you go. And it would give me, ooh, it should have given me the whole out, the combined output there. So you can use that as a mixing of your programmers there. So there's the programmer store. Um, it is uh, available in the Execute window. If you are using uh, a 500 or a stadium uh, panel, uh, you can go to say things like stadium single monitor. You get the 4x3 keys if you're on a 250, which has got a little screen with a 4x3. You can use the prog store on here as well. Um, so yeah, some exciting stuff uh, there with the Frog Store. It looks like we're fairly quiet on the chat today, and we seem to have motored through that uh, pretty quickly. Uh, Joe, you've asked, is this feature available um, uh, in earlier and not for 9.8 version? Actually, yeah, Frog Store, as Steve has said, it's been available for a while. Uh, we're just covering it this week as a bit of a feature highlight for you to see uh, what's going on there. Um, but let me talk about some of the other new cool stuff while we're in the Execute window that is now available to you uh, in our uh, 1980 beta release, which has just literally gone out the door now. So a bit of a sneak preview for you. So uh, if I jump back to here's one I made earlier, here's an execute uh, region, uh, all familiar, hopefully, with regions in the execute window for now. So if I was to bring on my spots uh, like so, I can say it's two seconds red, uh, all that good stuff there using my execute window. Those are the profiles down here. This uh, playback here has got the profiles in as well. Um, so I can control those. But and um, what about if I want to change the color of these profiles at the bottom? Well, yeah, this is a spot group here. Previously, only one group per region. Well, that changes in 8.0. So if I now just clear this region, uh, let me just take those colors here and I'm going to bump those over to there. Give me a gap. I can now take a second, or third or however many groups I like. So I can take my profile group, copy that. Oh, let's take the right group to start with. Copy uh, the profiles. Uh, to there and now I can click drag and I can hit set region 
which has drawn a box around it, what it allows me to do. Now, if I don't select the group there, you can see it's got my spots because that's what I had there before. But now in a region, you can select various different groups. So I can say select the profiles now and set those to blue, like so. I can then go back to the spots and say over three seconds out to window go green. While that happened, the profiles over one second are going to go red. And you can have both of those happen at the same time. So as of 1980, multiple groups are now supported within the same region, saving you space in your execute window. Uh, you don't need to uh, be having uh, lots of different regions now for colors for every uh, type of fixture, etc. Now um, it can all be within uh, the same region. There's bounce effects. I've already shown you that there, uh, but in the uh, direction you've got various different bounce effects. Um, we also, a nice little one, is we've given you timing controls that can affect more than just regions. So let me clear out this region here. Uh, let me just remove some space in the execute window. Now, if I go to assign special and I go to something like rate parameters, uh, I can add a tap rate button, I can go assign special, I can put um, rate parameters i could do something like uh let's say chunks of two let's say assign special rate parameters uh let's say chunks of four and then assign special and uh, let's go rate parameters and let's go chunks of zero uh what i'm going to do is just draw a region around those it's got no cues no playback no, no Q stack in there. So if you make a region with some timing in that has nothing in terms of cues in, if it has cues in, the timing will now, as of 8.0, affect the Q of a thing within that region. So that's a new thing there as well. But a nice thing for you, let me clear, shift, release, switch everything off. If I build the new effect up, let's go back to a bounce just because we can. So I'm going to grab these. Let's locate. Uh, let's switch them off. That's zero. And let's go add effect. Let's go for uh, intensity here. And let's go uh, for a dimmer chase. Here it is. Uh, let's take the width down again quickly. Let's take the crossfade down just so you can see it nicely on the screen here. Uh, let's take my uh, direction to a forward bounce and let's speed it up a little bit. There you go. Um, you can see I've obviously messed up my... Um, there you go. Got that right. Cool. Uh, got that going here. Let's clear up a playback like so. Um, in fact, I'm going to take the bounce off. Uh, you'll see why in a second. So um, I'm going to take that as a that bounce off. So it's just a normal effect again now. And let me record that uh, here. Uh, let me run that like so then. In fact, I might have missed a trick because I want this really to be a group based effect. Have I turned on? Uh, let's have a look here. Uh, yes, I've got 12 spots. I haven't done this as a group effect. Let me take a step back. Let me go queue storage. Let me go group queues. Let me turn group queues on. Um, let me remove that playback. Now let's grab a group. It will all become clear in a moment. Uh, let's grab that group. Let's add the effect. Let's go to a dimmer chase again on here. Uh, let me start again. Let's take that down uh, like so. That'll do, I suppose. And let me record that onto a playback. Now you might say, why have I just done all this? Uh, well, now in your execute window, if you make a region with any of these uh, rate parameters in, so things like a tap rate, chunks, parts, segments, that sort of stuff, um, any of the options that are in that rate parameters, uh, if there's no cues within that region, it will work on your selected playback. So the one I hit the S button on, tap, 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 you can see that's now become a tap rate button. It can do things like split that into chunks of four, split that into chunks of two go back to just running normally. Now, if you're not familiar with Chunks, again, this isn't a new thing, Chunks. Chunks was in uh, a previous release, but uh, it can allow me to dynamically, even if I'm using group-based effects like I am now, Chunks of four. If for some reason I decided to change what was in the master group, so I go and take out, say, there's 12 in here at the moment. If I take out one, two, three, four, and I re-record that group like so, you'll see dynamically that Q, that Q and the effect is updated as it's still in chunks of four. And uh, if I go in chunks of two, likewise, it just adjusts by the number of heads that are now within that group. This is now changing programming on this playback here. So there's another new feature uh, in uh, 1980 for you. Um, another thing uh, just to finish on uh, is that our one shot effects have been expanded as well in 8.0. So if I clear the programmer, uh, I go back to say this profiles group here, I go add effects, intensity, and I go for again something like a dimmer chase. It's just easy to show you what's going on with a dimmer chase in the visualizer here. So I tap to time it, oh, a bit too fast, uh, like so here. 
Uh, you've always had the option of having things as one shot. Run the effects one and then stop. Well, that's been expanded. You have now one, two, three, or four shot effects. So a three shot effect, if I was to recall that to an empty playback there, a three shot effect will do exactly that. It will run once, twice, three times, stop. So on all effects now, you can have them being uh, just normal looping effects. You can have them as one shot, two shot, uh, three shot or four shot effects. So there you go, some brand new features for you in 8.0 that you can go ahead and get downloading on now. Um, just looking in the chat there on YouTube, don't think we've got uh, much else in comments wise there. Tobias said this is going to massively clean up your execute page. Absolutely, that's exactly what we're hoping for there. Uh, and over on Facebook, what have we got there? Let's see. Uh, any comments, to, uh, questions in there? Give us a second. I haven't got the usual live screen right in front of me. I have to switch between uh, Facebook and YouTube to access any comments here at the moment. Uh, let's see, we've got a few comments in here. They're coming up now. Um, it looks like Tommy might have uh, got to these already. Uh, is there a default prog store layout we can generate uh, like we do for full busking, etc.? Not yet, but it is very much uh, on our roadmap to do. Uh, and someone's already guessed that I'm in Belgium and not the UK. Uh, yeah, good guess. I didn't tell you that, but well done. Uh, maybe slightly worried I should be, but who knows. Cool. Okay, so thank you for joining us for Training Tuesday on the road. Um, not from the studio. We're back in the studio next week. This has been Training Tuesday, and we'll see you all next week.